our journey. I didn't mean to scare you. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another very candid conversation. I don't know if I should say another. I should probably say one of the first candid conversations. Um, and yeah, the idea of this is to kind of just film it and upload it. I'm not going to do a whole lot of editing to it. Um, just because I realized like I wanted to sit down and film this and like what I've been thinking about the past few kind of weeks, months, years, <laughs> but I didn't really ever know how to do it. And this feels most like me just to like have it be very candid. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys want me to talk more about anything in detail and you could always DM me on Instagram, comment below, or if there's something I didn't talk about that you want to know my thoughts on. I love like really deep, intense conversations um, about like life and like how you get to know people and what you've learned in your life and your life story and all that. Um, yeah, quality time. This is one of my love languages so that's quality time to me dude um but yeah and i'm also just using natural lighting to do this so hopefully it doesn't get dark out but yeah let's jump right into it i guess so <laughs> okay here we go i think the biggest thing like the last few years and months it's just like the idea of your 20s and like no one really knowing what they're doing or like what they have their life plan to be or like what's gonna make them happy like i don't know i feel like that idea is so interesting to me like work wise social wise like where you see yourself living, like just the idea of like being happy and like trying all these different hats in your 20s. Um, and I think like for me, a lot of like, cause I have moved around quite a bit, um, like probably more than the average person, I don't know. Um, and I think like where that kind of stems for me is, um, brace yourself <laughs> is just this like internalized pressure internalized fear of like never truly feeling understood or feeling happy <laughs> and I I don't know I think like I never like I always want to like keep reaching for what I think this idea of like what's gonna make me happy and like meeting new people and like learning new things and new ways of living like that is like such an integral 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 I don't know whatever that word is integral integrated part of me I don't know what that word is but hopefully you know what I mean um and I think that's like what pushes me and like what keeps me traveling so much is like never wanting to settle and like always wanting to just feel like I'm like never like I don't really know how to explain it always wanting to feel like I'm learning and growing and like experiencing new things in life and like essentially that's what it means to be happy to me is like being surrounded by cool people and getting to just like conversate or sing songs or dance or be silly um and I want to do that for as long as I can and you know like right now my brain hasn't really figured out how to do that and like have a normal adult job. Uh, maybe hopefully, I mean, one day, hopefully that will kind of, you know, I'll like want a little more stability and like, you know, kind of find those ways to integrate some of like 
everyday happiness into my life like as I grow older but like right now I'm like pretty stuck on like this idea that like your 20s are meant to explore your 20s are meant to try new things like oh my gosh like I've worked at a shoe store for one week I worked at a steakhouse uh, in Alabama as a hostess for like three days like I've been a barista at a couple different places like I've worked at a family psychology clinic I've um, tried working at a newspaper you know I worked at a summer camp I worked with kids like I like was Bob the Builder for a few different eras in the last year <laughs> like um, I, I don't know there's just like so many things to try and do and I think like for me that's always kind of come down to like I want to try all these things so like I know when I like find the thing for me that like I know it's for me and I know that I'm like not missing out on anything else um and yeah I'm holding on to that hope one day that like I'll just find you know something that I really enjoy and something that is like this is what I'm supposed to be doing with my life <laughs> um I don't really think I found that yet and yeah I don't want to settle I don't want to like that goes back to my fear of like not being happy or feeling fulfilled in my life um and yeah it's I think a lot of it is in, internalized but I think some of it also is from like societal standards and just like growing up in a small town and like seeing people kind of live very similar lives to each other and I love that I'm so happy for you guys like if you found your thing and you're like I'm meant to be a mother I'm meant to be like small town living like that is my thing that's what makes me fulfilled like I love that you guys have no idea how many nights I have cried myself to sleep because I wished <laughs> I wish that was me and like I wish that like you know just simple living was for me and like oh my gosh <laughs> if I could go back to two years ago and tell Kaylee that it's okay you don't have to force it like <laughs> Even two months ago, and tell Kaylee, like, you don't have to force it. I would have saved myself so many tears and stress and guilt. <laughs> because, like, that's the thing of it is. Life is, like, different for everyone. Life is meant to be lived differently. I think as long as you are fe feeling fulfilled and you are happy and you are able to, like, find those moments between all the highs and lows and there's just kind of like some constant like I think that's what life is about and that's what people like deserve and I don't know yeah I think like I found aspects of that in like a bunch of different places it's just kind of never like all lined up for me <laughs> um and I think the closest that I like felt like I was fulfilled or like this is what I'm supposed to be doing was actually in AmeriCorps um which is like why I think to me it like means so much and like it means a lot more probably than like what I've talked about or discussed with people in my life like I don't really know how to talk about it yet I don't know if I ever will but like there was just a couple like distinct moments like while I was out there working with communities <clears throat> where I was like this is what I'm supposed to be doing like it brought like tears to my eyes because like I was like this is what it means to like live and like help people and I just like I will never forget that feeling and I don't know and I love that but I think like being at home now too like I've also realized like yes I've had those like really big exciting moments that like this is so cool I love this like this is where I'm supposed to be but then like being back at home 
like these last few months I've also had those moments they've just been like taking me a little bit longer to like realize I think in like the joy that I get from like <laughs> hearing my one of my baby cousins like be so proud of herself for like putting on gems on an ornament like I'm gonna start crying thinking about that but like she, I did it like she was just so excited and like those moments like I'm realizing mean just as much as like seeing Yosemite and like meeting all these new people like there's like so much give and take to life and like those little moments that you like search for and like everyone I hope gets to feel I hope everyone gets to feel like that sort of genuine happiness in their life because everyone deserves to feel that um so yeah I think like that's kind of like my motivation I like at the time being you know because I think that's also another thing like I've realized we're allowed to change our minds like I've changed my mind so much in this last couple months like it's unreal but I think taking some of that pressure off myself to like have it all figured out is by like telling myself hey i'm allowed to change my mind nothing's permanent yet like it's all gonna work out it's all gonna be okay um and yeah that was a lot i don't really know where that all came from i hope it made sense um sometimes i start my thoughts but i'm not really like fully confident in like saying them out loud and finishing them so <laughs> Hopefully it made sense. I think also a couple other things, not in just like the sense of like working or like figuring out what's gonna make you happy and fulfilled, but also like friendships in your 20s, like those are really hard in like relationships. And I think I've been thinking about those a lot this last little bit in like thinking back to high school friendships, college friendships, like, AmeriCorps friendships, I don't know, just like all these places where I've like built connections with people and like what I've learned from them and like how to stay in contact with them long distance wise because a lot of my friends are long distance. Um, and like now anyways, it's a lot of like phone conversations and like trying to figure out like how to still connect with them even though we are like in two very different places um and yeah I don't really know what I've learned about friendships I think I have learned that reciprocated energy is very important to me if I'm giving you like five percent you can give me five percent that's okay but if I'm giving you like a hundred percent I want I want that back like I want you to genuinely be excited for me too because like I think you know as we grow up like life changes and like some friendships you're able to grow with and some friendships you know are just meant for that time and place and like it's a really like sad thing to realize and like think about like I wanted these people to be at my wedding and like I don't really even know if we stay in contact anymore, like, or like what our friendship is looking like going forward. And I think like recognizing that and then opening that door and then having that conversation with your friend is kind of a lot. Um, and so we, I hope I want to be like the best friend that I can. And I'm trying to like realize my inconsistencies and like my insecurities so that I don't let that get in the way of my friendships in the future because a lot of times my insecurities and like my being so in my own world and like internalizing all my feelings instead of sharing them has made me lose friends and like I don't know it kind of sucks but I think also expectations for friendships and realizing that every friend every relationship can bring something different into your life and like they don't all have to look the same um 
and yeah, I think like healing, you know, some of those letdowns, I needed some time to like kind of mourn those and like figure out what I actually want in my life and like friendships and like that's gonna always be changing like my needs and wants are always gonna be changing but I think like having a few core things and like you know being able to like realize if someone needs a little more of me I'm willing to give it to them but then if I need a little bit more like I want you to be willing to give a little more to me and like balancing each other out uh yeah <laughs> I don't know um and so yeah those are kind of my thoughts and also just like in a creative perspective like wanting everything to like work out and like be perfect in a sense or like I had these visions in my head but then like translating them to like try and put them into words whether it be writing or in video format or like through pictures or like videos it's really hard for me to get them from my head like out into the world um and i guess like one way i don't really know how to do that i think like one way for me is just like doing it and like learning as i go and how i speak to the camera or like write things out and kind of like adjusting and yeah learning as i go with that because i do love sharing my thoughts with the world and like what I've learned just as much as I love like hearing other people's stories and lessons like I think that's something that leaves me feeling really fulfilled is like being able to share all of this and learn from other people um and yeah I think that's kind of where I'm gonna leave this I don't really know what else to say other than it's okay to take pressure off yourself it's okay to give yourself grace like I think I've been in a funk for a little bit and now I'm kind of just like snapping out of it um it's okay to change your mind and it's okay to just exist and to be and somewhere along the line, like, I still know everything's gonna work out. I still trust God and like, I know that he's got my back. I know that Jesus is always gonna be here with me in whatever sense I need. And whatever that is for you, if it's God or the universe or <clears throat> anything like that, like, just trust it wholeheartedly and yeah no at the end of the day we are all just doing our best the world just needs a little more kindness i heard this thing um sometime in the last few months where it's like your 20s are all brand new to you like you know in a sense it's kind of like you're starting over like and even though i am 23 like in adulthood or like in that whole sense like I'm only three years old um like I've only been trying new things and like experiencing all this and like the adult world for three years and like when you put it in that perspective like that I'm so young like I have so much more to learn and like I don't have to have it all figured out like it's gonna be okay and I don't know if that thought helps you at all um, but it helped me a little bit and yeah, I hope this made sense <laughs> and I kind of like doing this. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>